Before we get started today, I'm gonna do some, you know, do some little praises for myself. So today I took my ring light out of the bag, so. And I took my camera out of the bag. And I made a video. Yes, I have done the bare minimum. Proud of me for that. Very proud of myself. Hey you guys, my name is Cameron Noel. If this is your first time here, welcome to my commentary entertainment channel where I talk about things that I care about and that I think are entertaining and interesting and thought provoking. And if you like the things that I like, then you are in the right place. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell notification down below so that you get notified when I upload new videos eventually. <laughs> Whew. If you would like to follow me on social media, you can follow me on Twitter. Bum, 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 bum. Or you can follow me on Instagram. Dun, 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 Okay, cool, yeah, get that out of the way. The intro is done. So as usual, I'm talking about something that is no longer relevant because I have waited too long to make a video about it, but I don't care and I'm gonna talk about it, so yes. So you see the title of the video, we're talking about bad parents on TikTok because why is this something that we have to deal with? So for some reason on TikTok, well, let me just get into the, let me just get into like, let's be honest, Twitter to TikTok pipeline. For me, for me, for part of me. I, usually I'm on Twitter, I see an outrageous or hilarious TikTok, one or the other or both. And then it's so outrageous that I go to TikTok and I watch the video itself. And then I watch more videos and commentary and yada, 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 yada. Cool. Well, on TikTok, there are bad parents. And when I say bad parents, I'm not talking about, oh, you did something like slightly insensitive. No, I'm talking about like terrible parents who should not have children whatsoever because everybody not meant to be a parent. I will stress that to the day I die. Everybody is not meant to have a child, okay? And these parents, for some reason, feel comfortable exposing, embarrassing, belittling, just disrespecting their children for content on social media for strangers, clicks, likes, views, sponsors, you, the list goes on. And it's it needs to stop. It needs to stop. For example, this video. Daughters, and you got sons and they up in age and they make your money. My daughter is spending three hundred dollars on on mirrors, four hundred dollars on chairs. Five, six hundred dollars on bundles and stuff. So I asked her, Naya, can you at least start helping something? I'm on a fixed income. I got congestive heart failure. So I'm like, Naya, can you at least so you know help pay a bill or something? Because that's when I was 16 and got a job, my mama gave me the water bill. I was responsible for the water bill. I don't have them to pay nothing. Just a hundred dollars would do. A hundred dollars would do. But I did the most unthinkable because I got so upset because I put my door, I made my baby daddy come get his kids. I took a phone, I paid that phone bill, I paid everything. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm going to talk about that video a little bit later on, but like, I just want to show you the example. I'm not going to show you all the videos, one, because I have to go find them and I, it's been so long. And also, um, those videos infuriate me and I don't want to infuriate people who watch my content. That's not, that's not the gist of today at least. And these parents, they irritate me because bad parents, like, it's like you you do this online for one for clicks and views but you also do it for like validation and it's like then of course the other bad parents or the other people who or the other child childless people who don't need children all join in together and like start having a conversation like oh yeah i don't know why you guys are so outraged i don't know why you guys are so mad yada 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 there's nothing wrong with this and it's like no no and then we just have a bunch of people who don't even have children who are having these toxic ideologies in an echo chamber it's like, why are you embarrassing your child for clicks and views? Huh? Let's talk about that. I mean, I don't know if y'all learned, but I know I know in middle school and elementary school, when we got our laptops, our Dell laptops we got to take home. We were taught that the internet is forever. Meaning that that video of you embarrassing your child is on the internet forever for strangers to see. It is there forever and your child is going to resent you, most likely. That's, that video in particular like started a huge conversation on TikTok about whether 16 year olds should be paying bills 
for their parents. <sighs> and I'm mad that's even a question. And it's like grown adults trying to shame this 16 year old because she doesn't want to pay a bill. And we're gonna, I'm gonna just break down why that makes no sense. Number one, you are a parent. Now, I've heard people say, say like the phrase, like if you can't afford kids, don't have them. Um, I've heard loosely that that is like rooted somewhat in like eugenics, like basically saying that like only people of a certain like economic class or whatever background can like have children. Um, I don't know all the nuances of that conversation. I'm not fully educated on it. So I'm not gonna say that in this video to like, you know, just not to be problematic. All I'm just gonna say is regardless of your economic background, whether you're working class, middle class, high class, extremely wealthy, top 1%, if you have a child, you should support that child financially, okay? Your child should have the basic essentials, okay? That is your job as a, t as a parent. You brought this person into the world. This person did not ask to be here. So yeah, and this and the woman in this specific video, like after she posted that video, she then went on like, she then made like several videos of her like responding and arguing with people in the comments. And it's like, you don't understand my life. You don't understand what I go through. It's my child, do what I want, my business. Like, no, we're not in your business. You shared your business. See, that's what I hate about social media. People will always overshare and post what they shouldn't post. And then when they get the reaction that they don't want, this like, you're in my business. It's like, no, you posted your business on a public platform that people can easily access it. So if you post something for us to see, we are gonna have Discord on it and we are going to discuss it. That is how the world works. Like, hello, I'm not gonna post my bank account and then get mad when people say that I'm broke. Like, I didn't have to post that. I didn't have to put that out there. So yeah, I was just really annoyed by that. And it's just like, this was all of bad parents do that on TikTok. When they post a horrible video of them treating their ch child horribly or describing horrible things they have done to their child, and then when they get criticized for it, it's like, you're in my business, stay out my business. And it's like, you're 40 and you're arguing with like 17 year olds on the internet. And a 17 year old has more common sense about how to treat a child than you. That speaks volumes and you should be embarrassed. But back to like 16 year olds paying bills. No, you're, a child should not pay bills. A child's job is to be a child. A child is not responsible for a bill. And I know in the video she mentioned that her mother did that and her mother shouldn't have done that. Like I just, especially when it comes to black children, like I just, I'm not a fan of like robbing children of their childhood. Like kids should not have to grow up. And then there are the course that adults saying, well, if my mom needed help, then I would help her. And it's like, pause. There's a difference from a child being like, okay, I'm gonna help my mother out and like give her some money every now and again. That is different than a parent coming to you and saying, hey, you're gonna pay this bill or I'm going to put you out of the house. And then you have the adults who are like, well, you know, you gotta treat a child, teach a child how to be responsible. And there are plenty of ways to teach your child the responsibility of like finances and money than forcing them to put up to pay a bill or putting a bill in their name. Like for example, my mother never made, never made me pay a bill. What my mother did do is she opened a savings account and she would take portions of my birthday money and my Christmas money and she would put it in that account. And if I wanted something like a video game or to get my hair cut, she would take money out of that account and she would let me know this money is coming out of my account. Now then with that being said, my mom still bought things. She still bought me clothes, still bought me school supplies. She still bought me birthday gifts and Christmas gifts. And if I wanted a video game or something, she would still buy it. Like she still like supported me, but she did help me learn the value of money. And when I did get a job, my mother at least was like, hey, if you get a job, school comes first. And if those grades fall, you quit in that job, period. Do you, there are different ways that you can teach a child the importance of finances, like an allowance, or just simply birthday, birthday Christmas money that they get from other family members. Tell them, to, teach them how to budget it. There are different ways. You don't have to force a child to pay your bill. Bitch, do you work? No, bum. I don't understand why in like 2021, moving into 2022, the idea of like respecting your child and respecting children and as human beings, it's like a radical idea. Like, I think a lot of people think that having authority means that you have to have complete domination over a person. You can still respect somebody and still be like in charge. Like, I'm not telling parents to like, oh, your child can do whatever you want and if you discipline them in any way or shape or form that you're a horrible person, no. But there's a difference between exploiting your child for free labor or exploiting them for like their money and like discipline. And yes, we can talk and like, oh, and yes, of course the answer is capitalism. Capitalism is the reason why people can't pay their bills. Capitalism is terrible and we need to be gone with it. But right now we're not talking about capitalism. We're talking about the grown woman who just went on TikTok and told everybody that she kicked her daughter out, her 16 year old daughter out because she wouldn't pay the water bill. And like this woman is not the only person. Like there was another woman who her son ran away 
and she posted a video of her child she posted a picture of her child and then she just proceeded to talk down on him and make fun of the clothes that he was wearing and then proceeded to say that if there were any hood dudes who saw him in the area to do what you want with him and then bring him back to me i am not going to go into detail about why that is terrible you should never tell strangers that they can do whatever they want to your child and then bring them back to you because you have no idea what's on their mind and what that entails. Number two, why are you making fun of your child's clothes that you most likely bought? And if you didn't buy them, that means someone else is clothing your child or their child is buying them themselves. And that is a problem in itself. And number two, if my child is missing, I'm not gonna be on TikTok cursing at them and making fun of them. I'm going to the police to help them find my runaway child if I cared about my child. And there, oh, mind you, that woman I'm talking about, the one about who was making fun of her runaway, her son who ran away from home, she has plenty of videos. She has a video of her making him hold a, a, a cardboard box above his head and said that if he dropped the box, she was gonna punch him. And that's on TikTok. And now I wanna preface this, if you find these videos, if you're familiar with these videos, all three of the people in these videos, these parents are like black mothers. I just wanna say that I am not singling out black women. I did not go on TikTok and search for like problematic black mothers to make a video bashing black mothers. I'm just, these are the videos that came across my timeline. So bad parents apply to all genders and all races. So this is not me, a targeted video. I just wanna put that out there into the universe. I just don't understand why the idea of having a human level respect for your child is radical. It should not be radical. And it's just like, I don't think people realize like, CPS, like if you're gonna, I'm not saying you should abuse your child. I'm not saying that. I'm not gonna say that at all. I'm not even gonna, let me just stop. I'm just gonna say like, if you're gonna break the law, be smart about it. And that's not me advocating for breaking the law. I'm just saying like, if you rob a bank, don't post a picture of yourself with the money. Don't get on Instagram live while you're in the getaway car. So like child abuse is a crime. CPS is a real thing. If you are mistreating your child, posting it on the internet is not smart. Hello? 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 Like, girl, anybody can say, hey CPS, here's this video on TikTok of this woman abusing her child. And boom, now your kid's gone. Now your kid's gone and you ain't got nobody. Isn't that sad? That is sad. That's what you get. <laughs> With that being said, that is in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you, how do you feel about parents of how do you feel about parents embarrassing their children on the internet, using it for clicks and views and content? What are your thoughts about a 16 year old paying bills? Um, let me know your comments down below. We don't have to agree, but keep it respectful. Uh, my name is Cameron Noel. If you like this video, I hope you will subscribe, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Boy, Troy named Troy used to live in Detroit. Big dope dealing money, he was getting some coins. Was the shootouts with the lure, but he lived in the palace.